uh, are deflections something deflections? Are they, is that something you gamify in practice, or yeah. is there anything that you do to, to promote that in practice? It, it, it features in everything we talk about, think about. You know, we chart it during the games. It's a it's a metric that uh, <clears throat> that that when I played for Rick Pitino, one million exactly one million years ago. <laughs> um, it's it it's it was like a driver. It was a it was a thing that we hung our hat on, and uh, I have carried it with me. And so, yes, deflections are a big part of how we think and talk. And um, you know, it comes with a little bit of pain because sometimes you reach and you foul. But the trade-off to me is worth it. Fred, I know you said last night that you didn't believe what Joel did was worthy of a suspension. But now a report came out today that. Minnesota is maybe looking to get Ben roped into this too, saying that he was not a, a peacemaker as the, the referee saw it. So I guess, did you have any thoughts on, on Ben's involvement and, and what he did? I, I, I most definitely have thoughts. I, I've been advised to keep them to myself. Um, and I'm aware of what, what you just said. I, I understand what's going on. Fred, you alluded to this a little bit last night, and I know this is not a way you want to see about a team that comes together, but they actually did come together, helping out in Joel. Is that a bright spot for you that, that, that you saw that? Most definitely. And as I have said, you know, we, 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 we intend on playing and feel that we do play the game in the spirits that it should be played, but this is Philadelphia. And we play a certain way, and uh, playing sort of as a unit, as a team, covering each other is important uh, in any case. And um, I, I feel like some of that was achieved. Do you think in any way that, that Joel could have backed off, or was the situation just I think I'd like to not really speak much more about it, right, um, for obvious reasons. Are you believing that like defensive energy is contagious? Is that something that you've observed the first month being around this, this group? I, I do, but I think that it's, there's an ecosystem that is connected to offense. I think that if you come down and you play bad offense and you just jack stuff up and the ball doesn't go through some hands, I think it's deflating. And I think that it seeps into a less spirited, less committed, unified defensive mindset. And it's all kind of connected. And so I think, I think that for sure it is, but if you took a step back and then sort of like, identify that or really study that, it has impact on that defensive spirit that you're talking about.